my name is Fern Cloud. Uh, Aik Bawi is my Dakota name, which means branch woman. It's my uh, great-great-grandmother's name on my dad's side. The project that I've chosen for this, uh, the community artists in residency, uh, was a hide painting. We were asked to try to include this, this uh, the COVID-19, this pandemic, and that whole um, atmosphere of uncertainty that we're living in to make a, a, a piece that is going to uh, reflect some of that. The design I chose is, I would say it's a historical, a spiritual, uh, social piece. The colors have meaning. The design actually tells a story. It tells the story of the Dakota um, uh, li life ways. So traditionally, when you start a hide painting, you put your design on the hide with uh, buffalo bone, bone glue um, using a, a bone or, um, or a stick. So the next step on that process would be putting in the paints, and I use natural paint pigments. The Dakota Nation is made up of uh, seven council fires, the Osheti Shikoi. So the Wapetua are the dwellers among the leaves, and this is where we're at right now at the Upper Sioux community. The Berewa Kantua are the dwellers of Spirit Lake, which is over there in um, eastern Minnesota. And the Sisitua are dwellers uh, among the fish grounds, and uh, the Wakfekute are the shooters amongst the leaves. So, and the other two are the um, uh, Ihachtua and Ihachtuana, and though they are uh, presently in uh, uh, South Central South Dakota, and that's the Yankton Sioux tribe today. And the Teton um, uh, are, are, of course, the Lakota, and they also have their own um, Osheri Shikoi seven uh, bands within the uh, Teton. Here are some of the brushes that are. Um, ancestors use. They're called buffalo bone brushes. So here are all the bone brushes that I used. And once you use this brush for yellow, it, it stays yellow. You can't mix it because, you know, this paint, the pigments are, are just are so uh, strong. So these are the, uh, traditionally they would put the paint in here, these bones, and th that was their containers. Uh, sometimes I use um, sticks, different kind of sticks. Uh, of course, they use willow sticks and whatever they had. And um, they also used little shells. We refer to these as uh, feathers in, in, uh, in uh, designs when you we're doing buffalo hide painting. So the seven um, feathers are representative of the, the seven, uh, the Osheti Shikoi. Usually I start um, my design starts here and it goes out. So usually I start from the top and then I work down so that way I don't smudge. And one thing you, you, this <laughs> pigment is very, um, I touched this, I set it down and then I got a little bit on my finger and I put my hand here and I got this. So I'm gonna to have to work, try to get that off. Your hands have to be very, 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 very clean. These colors are symbolic of, um, of, of the directions. So we have the, the black, which is uh, traditionally west. The red is always the north. The yellow is the east. And the white is the south. Blue, which is the sky nation, Machbia. The green, which is the earth, Makaina. And then the red, which is ourselves. So we have seven directions that we acknowledge in our life. And when we pray, that's, we acknowledge those seven directions. This represents that we are, um, we are told that we are star nation, that we came from the stars. So it also is uh, symbolic um, of um, our history. And when I've done this before, I had a buffalo uh, at four buffalo, 
And that is uh, told the story of the coming of the uh, white buffalo calf woman, how she came to us and brought us to seven rights. Wo'onshida means uh, compassion, generosity, courage, respect, wisdom, patience, um, and humility. And, and to help us to be uh, in balance, it's for us in our language, we say we are Wo Dakota. Uh, to be Wo Dakota means that you live by those seven uh, values or those seven virtues. These are at every corner. They're, they're like fans, they're, but they really don't have any meaning. They're designed, they just kind of pull it in. And, but I put a little uh, floral design. To me, I thought, I want to bring it back to here, to where I'm at here. So one of our staple foods is Wamanaheza, um, it's corn, blue corn. Native people are, are very uh, tight. Uh, we, you know, we have such a strong king, kinship, you know, extended family. It's very important to us. Um, that, that, is, that makes up, makes up life for us. And during this uh, time of quarantine and, you know, social distancing, it's been very difficult for us, uh, you know, because it's part of our, our culture to be, always be together. So I see that uh, and I thought about that. And I, th I think this design is, is, is part of that um, grounding or that connectedness to, to who we are. <laughs> 